Hello, hello, hello there. Let's keep this intro as simple as the flower we're drawing and get right into it. We're going to start with the center of the flower, so that's just a simple circle, and we're going to do the stem next. This is just a curved line for now. Next, we're going to get into the flower petals. I'm doing five that are kind of U-shaped. You can play around a lot with this, like both the number and the shape, so later on you'll see me add a little bit of a tip. Next we're going to add the leaves. These are a very similar shape to the petals, so it's U-shapes again. You can see me adjusting the shape a bit there. So that's why we're doing the sketch, so that you can make these little adjustments. And that's going to be it for the sketch. Next we're going to get into the inking, so I'm using a 0.8 fine liner. We're starting with the same way as we did for our sketch, so we're outlining the middle of the flower first. The main adjustment here is that we're doubling up on the lines on the stem. So I'm drawing them a little bit further apart from each other, so you get that thickness in the stem. I'm leaving my stem open-ended. We're moving on to the flower petals and the leaves again. This is where I add the points that I mentioned before. Next is where we really start improving on the sketch, so I'm going to add two lines to each petal just to add a little bit of emphasis onto them. Next we're going to add some stippling to the centre of the flower, that's where the seeds would be. Finally we're going to add a midrib to each of the leaves. Last of all, we're going to add the ground. So that's a straight line on either side of the flower and two squiggles for where the flowers disturb the soil around it. Now we're going to erase the sketch lines because we don't need them anymore. I didn't really like how there wasn't a line between these two, so I just added that in now. And now it's time to get colouring. I'm using Derwent watercolour pencils just that I can smudge them a bit later. We're keeping the colours as simple as the rest of the flower, so I'm using the same green everywhere. You can notice how I create a little bit of texture by making the midribs, that's what they're called, a bit darker as well as the bottom of the leaf just to create that sort of shading. We're moving on to the yellow and I'm adding a bit of an orange just to add a little bit of texture there. And since the flower leaves are white, I'm actually using blue to shade just so that there's that depth like I did with the leaves. Now this is the smudging that I was talking about earlier. This is a water brush, so it's basically like a, a brush that you dip into water except that the water is already in it. It's a very useful tool, I like it a lot. And the final part is blending together the ground. Make sure that blends in the stem and we are done with the drawing. If you prefer your tutorials in written format, there's always the website below. Apart from that, that's everything for today and see you in the next tutorial.